Hello, my name is Helmut Erler and today I want to talk about high frequency level on a record. The level of a signal, how loud it is, is analog to the speed of the stylus. In disc mastering we call it velocity and express it in centimeters per second. What happens when the level of the signal stays constant but the frequency gets higher? The stylus travels at the same speed but it needs to go back and forth more often. The distance is called excursion, so excursion becomes smaller with increasing frequency. In the very high pitch, excursion gets really small. These tiny undulations are not creating sufficient electric current in the pickup stylus. The signal is unusable. We need to change something to increase excursion for higher frequencies. The RIAA cutting encoder EQ curve does exactly this since around the 1950s. It boosts level and so excursion the higher the frequency gets. Here you can see a lot more excursion with RIAA encoding. Unfortunately, this may cause issues with other parts. First, the electromagnetic system of the cutting amp and cutter head. A 1 kHz tone is consuming very little power, about 5 to 7 watts. This increases rapidly with frequency and RIAA encoding. In the highest range, Power requirements may be 300 to 500 watts, pushing the cutting amp and the cutter head first into saturation and then beyond their limits. The system can take very short inaudible bursts of 100 micrometers per second and more, where accelerations of several thousand times that of Earth gravity may occur. But with such great excursions, especially at high frequencies, the cutting stylus may wipe out with its back end the shape it just created with its front. That is called self-erase and is causing significant distortion. We are also facing tracking distortion from the pickup stylus when it cannot follow the path of the groove accurately anymore or even jumps out of the groove because of high acceleration. So, keeping velocity under strict control is essential in disc mastering. As rule of thumb, there's little musical value for velocities beyond 40 to 60 centimeters per second. That's all for now. Thank you. Goodbye.